how did your husband react to the news yes, i was very happy and yeah definitely knowing that i'm going to to actually have something very special that i'm sharing with her so i was like yes <laughs> yes what do you think is best to raise the hay zim or sa well wherever we are is where it's best to raise hay i think that's a good answer yeah <laughs>
I mean not like a newborn. I don't want to show a newborn on my videos due to cultural things <laughs> reasons. Mm. Yeah. And then I don't know how my husband feels about that. Yeah, definitely. Of course, as she said, uh, at at um as an infant of course we cannot really show her that much mm. on, on on videos and all that but yeah as as she grows and mature yeah mm. definitely but then then if we see because of course i i believe age and every parent knows very well their child so we will definitely see if she enjoys mm. uh, that or if she doesn't enjoy of course we will not push her or force her into to videos no if she doesn't like that, of course, that's her choice, and yeah, we'll just exclude, <laughs> exclude her. her and let her be. So mm. yeah. And then okay, they said weird pregnancy cravings that mm. I had. Mm, 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 Maybe mm. it wasn't weird. No, it, it was weird. Who eats uh, uh, ripe mangoes with vinegar, uh, pepper, salt? Uh, tomato sauce but lemon juice also yeah it was yeah. it was nice in the yeah window. i mean you are taking everything <laughs> everything in front of you and you're like yeah so definitely <laughs> those are the things that i personally found them very weird because you know, that was my first time being especially with this this is really personal i mean i'm always here 24 hours i mm. see what's really happening so being so close i saw these things for the first time i've never experienced <laughs> that so yeah. yeah for me i didn't for me i didn't feel like it was weird so i can't answer the question but he answered it for you guys so okay uh gender of the baby the baby is a girl we did a gender review video mm -hmm. on the channel yeah check it out on the channel is there we did of course she she actually planned everything and then yeah it was a beautiful planning go and watch it stay on her youtube channel so yeah and then the next question is will we get a nanny now in the meantime of course i don't, I don't think it's really necessary to get one because of course she will be home um so she will definitely be taking care of the baby and of course over the weekends i will also be off helping her to take care of the baby so in the meantime no we won't need any ba uh, mm -hmm. babysitter mm -hmm. to say but maybe of course in a couple of months to come if she happens to get a job or something very busy of course we will definitely need to get a, a name so yeah yeah and I then how you feel about that but yeah 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 definitely because at the moment i'm not working so mm. there's no need for a nanny because i'm there full time yeah yeah and then the next question is when are you due who can answer that one yeah, yeah. soon yeah, that's what i can soon. say yeah. soon, <laughs> that's what i can say but mm -mm, due to cultural beliefs yeah we can't say, we the, can't exact say date. the exact date so. yeah then what are you doing to prepare for for labor is that a question yeah okay guys so for labor i'm exercising i'm drinking raspberry leaf tea apparently it helps and i'm also drinking okra water mm, slimy things like yeah she, she's drinking those kind of things <laughs> and of course also um raspberry leaf tea something like yeah, that raspberry yeah. Leaf tea. yeah and also um she also exercises so yeah the, those are the things that she, she she's actually personally uh doing to prepare for for labor, labor. Yeah. yeah and then um how long did you try for how long did you try for we were not trying it just happened guys we're not trying it just happened like for how long, no, no. how many months were we trying to have a baby? <laughs> we were not <Yeah>. trying. <laughs> <laughs> but it no. happened quickly, but yeah, we're not trying. We never yeah. tried. Yeah. And then a weight gain. Yeah, I've gained a lot of weight. Because now I I was weighing 55 kilograms. Now I'm weighing 70 kilograms. So that's a lot of weight that I've gained. But yeah, they say I'm gonna lose it after birth, so we'll yeah, see. Definitely. Also, go back to her previous videos. You'll see, of course, before when she she didn't have a um or when she was not pregnant. Then you'll see she she looks a bit uh slim, 
or skinny to say yeah yeah compared to now yeah. of course mm -hmm. even when i met her she was not like you were mm -hmm. not like this I was not, I was so not yeah skinny. so levels levels <laughs> so now she's a code 14 wow. <laughs> so those kind of things so yeah she she gained some extra weight mm. yeah and then items you bought for preparation and what you're excited to get like what we bought already for now we bought like things that we really need for the hospital bag so we bought that and a few extras uh as well mm -hmm. not exactly like exactly on what they asked for a few extras here and there and then what are we excited to get you know guys i really want a cot bed <laughs> that's what i'm really excited to get but that will be after yeah that would be after but yeah mm. for a court bed of course i'll also try to talk to my uh, handyman my my dad who will see if maybe we can also make uh, something make one mm. yeah of course yeah this hand this hand <laughs> this hand work. will definitely work <laughs> so i might be able to do one as mm. a project with my dad so yeah. we'll definitely do that but the other one of course as she says yeah a baby uh court and of course uh, and a stroller yeah oh yeah a stroller, a stroller well, yeah. Yeah. definitely a stroller and a car seat and yeah yeah but the stroller of course i think that seat also comes out as whatever a baby yeah for some of them for some yeah. of them yeah, yeah it will depend but yeah baby seat car seat a, a stroller and also a baby cot because we don't want to be sleeping with a baby on the bed no no mm. the baby has to use, get used to that yeah and then languages languages you teach the baby uh, i think the baby will just learn as we talk yeah but to to help the, the baby to actually learn languages like i was always saying like if the baby is, is at her grannies in uh mokopane obviously they are speaking spady most of the time yeah most of the time they speak yeah. spady so of course she she's might, gonna yeah. catch on that if i take her home to middleberg she's going to be hearing them speak shona so sh this thing she's just gonna be learning the mm. languages yeah yeah so no restrictions or boundaries on that yeah whatever i mean this is you know a rainbow nation of course mm. whatever the location should be at of she'll course she'll definitely adjust yeah. to that we might be in um louis richard which is she of course adjust. the vendor land of course yeah she yeah. will adjust and uh talk uh vendor yeah. there and there with her cousins and everyone yeah. and when she's in mokopani the dominant language here is sepedi and of course i also know how to speak tsonga so mm. anything i'll just throw anything on her hey that baby better be ready <laughs> bro. that baby better be ready so to speak languages yeah, to speak any african language that she can understand you mm. know yeah no rush you know whatever she can catch up with anytime earlier it's mm. okay with us of course we'll make sure that she's comfortable in that so yeah Definitely. then the next question is will you take her to zim i don't know this question like to take her there as to visit or what if it's to visit definitely she has to go to zim to see where i come from where i've lived where i grew up and we also have we still have family there so definitely taking her for visits we will but not like taking her and leaving her there <laughs> no we can leave her in the gym but yeah for holidays for of holidays, course we can definitely yeah. take her there of course yeah she she she's gonna be you know an african baby with no borders mm -hmm. you know that's what we wish for just someone who's free and yeah definitely if she she goes to zim it's okay we'll go with her there to mm. see where she really really comes from mm. her origin her mother's side yeah and of course also on my side because she will definitely be in sa for most of her childhood, uh, childhood life. life because you yeah. know we don't know what the future holds we yeah. might be in australia next time we, don't we know. might be in you know yeah no no borders here mm. no borders for us of course no borders doesn't matter where we we might end up mm. at so yeah okay and then the next question says what do you think is best to raise hay zim or sa well wherever we are is where it's best to raise hay i think that's a good answer yeah and to add on hair as i also said previously now 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 a few seconds ago i said wherever 
it's possible to survive and rise a baby mm -hmm. and you know make a living make good money of course we, we we can go as far as anywhere even if it's iceland or island <laughs> wherever or swedish it doesn't matter but yeah. uh here we have no limits you yeah. know and we don't doubt that it doesn't matter if it's if it's in zim if things are good in zim of course we can go there yeah if things are good <laughs> in sa currently yeah we will be here mm. but we can't promise the future so. yeah so yeah to answer your question anywhere that we are whether it's zim sa overseas or whatever yeah. Wherever we are is way it's best. If there is a spaceship to take us to another planet, it's okay, <laughs> we are going there. Pluto. Yeah, so yeah. guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends. Yeah. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.